friends I'm back again with another video and today I thought we could do a little color and chat with this really awesome image by an artist on YouTube and on Instagram and her name is Jacqueline DeLeon and she is from California and I've followed her for a few years and I love her art style and she recently put up a few coloring pages for free um, for people to download because of being like in quarantine and not being able to go a lot of places so I thought this is awesome because I've always wanted to like color in her work <laughs> so I'm very grateful that she did this I will put the links to the coloring pages that you can download for free. Now, the way it works on the website she chose is that if you want to, you can donate some money when you download the file, but you don't have to. You can put zero dollars, but any donations I'm sure she would appreciate. Um, okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to pick out a color for her skin. So, I have my handy dandy color charts book, which I promise <laughs> it looks like the poor kitty got got, <laughs> but she didn't, I swear. It's um permanent red marker that I never got off. I've had this book since 2016. Um, this is the color chart book by Yasmin Elderhan also known as Yam Puff, and you can find it on Amazon. I actually have a newer one that I just keep um, markers in to swatch. Um, this one has like all of my color, almost all of my supplies period in it, but um, I realized that I never swatched the um, 100 Kelly Arts in my newer color charts book. so. We're using the older one because that's the markers I'm using today. So, 100 Cali Arts. And I didn't swatch them all because a lot of them are the same as the 72 Bionyo alcohol markers that I have, which I also have swatched in here. So, if I, it looks like I'm missing some. Like, I don't have 100. It's because um, they're also in the that other Bionyo set, which is also in here, and I didn't feel like putting them in twice, which is kind of a pain to split back and forth, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> so here is the start of the Bionia markers, and I'm going to look and see, because I'm still going to look at the Caliar ones, which are right here, so I don't want her to be pale. Like, I want her, want her to have a little melanin. Let's see. But I think, I, I don't know, I don't know. And you're probably like, you should have done this beforehand. And you are correct. I have a Prismacolor brush marker in the color Brick Beige, which is... It's not like this, but it's not like this either. It's like somewhere in between. But I do like this color. I don't even know if I have this color in Cali Arts. I think this color is only in the Bionia markers. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> don't be like me. Guys, play in your colors. Don't take forever. You know what? I think I'm going to use the brick beige because I have a, I have a feeling that it might look differently. I don't think I've colored with it on marker paper, only on create space paper and I think it might be just the ticket. Alright guys, so we have deco pink because I thought it might come in handy. And we have 
brick beige which and this these are both Prismacolor brush markers alcohol markers and if we do use the deco pink say a little prayer because the cap is really hard to get off of that one for some reason it always has been I don't know why I apologize if my hands in the way it's just the way the camera has to be set up well yeah this is a nice color this comes out a lot more brown on this paper than on create space paper I would advise that if you don't if you haven't had a color if you don't know a color very well like how it will react um, I would test it on another sheet of the same paper if you're able to and not do what I'm doing because <laughs> you might put it down on another type of paper that isn't create space paper because create space is its own beast so um yeah just swatch it just to make sure that you're gonna you know you're gonna like it because you don't want to have to either reprint out another file or you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now, since this is marker paper, you don't have to uh, go super fast when you color with your markers, like on Create Space paper, because Create Space paper. Um, soaks up the ink and so it dries really quickly and it leaves these like lines where the alcohol has dried these little like squiggly lines kind of like if you've ever seen a watercolor painting and you can see like the little um lines where like one pool of watercolor stops and one begins same kind of thing you guys know i'm sure um, but on this paper you don't have to go as quick because instead of getting soaked into the paper right away it kind of sits on top for longer so you can blend easier and layer and stuff like that which is why it's called marker paper because <laughs> it's made for markers Although you can put color pencil on top of your marker on this paper because I have done it. I have put Prismacolor, Polychromo, and Pablo's on top of this paper and they all do well. Do 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 do. I probably should have stopped um, at her face, but it's too late now. Actually, I can stop here. This is good. I'm going to stop here for a second, and I am going to, you know what I'm, you know what I should do? I should finish this little section right here. And I'm going to color inside these glasses. Don't know how that escaped my mind just now. Because I was looking at it the whole time going, remember to color in, remember to color inside the glasses. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing okay. What have you been doing to keep yourself occupied if you haven't yet gone back to work yet? And if you are an essential worker, how have you been de-stressing and coping? Have you been coloring? Have you been painting? Have you been reading? And if you are an essential worker or just a worker in general, thank you very much. All of your sacrifices are very much appreciated. 
and I'm very grateful for, for everyone, for the grocery store workers, for the hospital workers, for the sanitation workers, everyone who's been essential through this whole thing. You have my love and appreciation for sure. All right. Okay. So, as I was saying. <laughs> so, we're going to color in her glasses. And I was thinking, like, when Jacqueline colored this picture in, she colored her glasses pink. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to color them pink because she colored them in pink in their hearts so I feel like that's expected is that dumb <laughs> that's just that was just my thought process like I don't want to do what she's doing I want to do my own thing so let me look in the book really quick because I think I want to do them like either blue or teal because I know I want her hair to be teal and blue like you know some parts of it blue some parts of it teal so let's see so what if we do oh you know what we could do that would be awesome we can make them like gradiate from blue to pink oh that would be neat Okay, so we have to pick a blue that will go well with our deco pink here. So, dun dun dun. dun. Do you guys take a long time to pick colors, too? And if I pick them ahead of time, I kind of jinx myself. Like, uh, I should have waited. I should have waited. All right. I think I have an idea. So we're going to do B201 into the deco pink. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. So we got to find B201. You can't see my markers over here, but B201. B201. B204. B203. Oh no, I hope this isn't one of those things where it's only in the... Remember how I told you they were a lot similar and now I can keep picking colors that are not in the range? B205. B2... Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, this is our color. B201 in the Cali Art Markers. And... Lord Jesus, please be with me while I do this. I don't want to screw it up. I have that Mariah Carey song in my head. Um heartbreaker <laughs> do you guys know that song is from the rainbow album it came out like forever ago when I was like a freshman in high school and then I was like the chorus is stuck in my head so I'm like hmm, 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 hmm. It just keeps replaying over and over in my head oh by the way this is our deco pink which never likes to open ah Okay. But I just keep on coming back incessantly. See what I mean? Stuck in my head. <laughs> Make it go away. Do you guys have any, like, 
tricks that you do to keep songs from getting stuck in your head? Like, do you have to listen to it to get it out of your head? Or do you just get another song stuck in your head? Because that's what I do. (laughs) One song just replaces the other. Like, I'll wake up with songs playing in my head. I don't know if you guys are like that. Oh, that looks pretty good. We don't want it to be super bright because we don't want to take the focus away from the rest of her so that people are only looking at her glasses. Her glasses. You like that, uh, that accent? I'm from the South, can you tell? <laughs> Actually, that was just me being silly. Glasses. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll say something, though, and I'll be like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that, that was, that had a really thick accent. Like, it even is a little too much for me. Okay, so let's do, I don't know why I just put the cap back on. We'll do the same for this side that we did for the other side. Every time I say stuff like that, I think of, like, high school algebra. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Ugh. Horrible flashbacks. Math is not my subject. I was more of an English person. Well, actually, I was more of an any, <laughs> any subject person other than math. <laughs> many, many moons ago. Oh, look, and I put the cat back on the deco pink. Oh, it's proving me wrong today. The first, when I first got this marker... The first few times that I, um, oh, tried to open it, was, it was awful. <laughs> like, I think they want you to be Hulk smash when you open those markers. Sometimes they're just like, Hulk smash. <laughs> it's like, I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. Just open. <laughs> okay. Ta da! Oh, she looks so nice. Okay. We're going to give her some lip color. Because we might give her a little, like, color on her jawbone, too. But I haven't decided. So, so we're going to give her some, like, magenta lipstick. Maybe not even lipstick. Maybe she wears lip gloss. I don't know. So, let's see what we have. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I went outside for like, I don't know, I think it was 30 minutes or so, and I melted. <laughs> it was so hot it is hot it's like 91 degrees outside and I can't I'm I'm not built for it I mean you'd think after all this time I'd be used to it but I am not you know what's really funny is when you're looking for a color and you know what color you want but there is no color of that 
we might have to mix our colors. Let's see. What if we do... Okay, that R218 and... Oh, you know what? What if we do purple? Like, R... Whoops. R614 and R623. Oh, yes. Okay. Here's R623. Ta-da! And it is, oh, I keep forgetting to tell you the names, too. It's um, Hyacinth. And R614, right? Let's hope that that one is still in here. <laughs> And it's not in the Beyond Your Markers. R614. Six one four. Guys, I don't think it's in here. Hmm. Do to do, do. You know, you know what? I think it's still it's in the other section. I don't know. I think it is. Oh, that's okay. We'll do instead of that one. We'll do R702, which is a little lighter, but it'll work. Not a lot of purples in the 100 pack. Alright, so R702 is Mauve Shadow. So we'll start with the lighter color first. This girl basically, she's going to have the hair that I have I want and all that kind of stuff and the lipstick. She's cool. She'll have all the things that I wish I had. <laughs> That's the nice thing about coloring though, isn't it? You get to kind of play around and experiment, make things your own, and let's go in with the darker color, try not to go outside the lines. <laughs> Go back over it with the lighter color and hope that it looks okay. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 
not bad, not bad. There's kind of a line right there. It's okay. Yay! She looks good. All right. Now, let's give her a little blush. Getting out our book here. And, let's see. Let's see, R five oh two, are you in here? R five oh one R one oh one Let's do R501. Let me see what that one looks like. Oh, we can do that. We'll build it up. It probably looks different on this marker paper, too, like I said before. So let's give her some. Oh, that's really light. That's really light. <clears throat> All right, let's go up here and see what we can do. Let's try R503. That's a really pink pink, but let's see. Don't be scared, guys. Blend it in. That's why marker paper is awesome. And if it looks a little too dark in one place, It's okay, it's what they make the colorless blender for. There it is. <clears throat> I actually found something. <laughs> oh no. It's a miracle. Uh-huh. This probably, I probably made it worse, but you get the idea. <laughs> Oh no, well it looks all right. I'll fix it a little bit. Oh no. Oh man, now the beige is giving me trouble. Do you see that it still has some pink on it? Oh no, I messed it up. Don't do what I did. It's okay, she still looks okay. All right, 
Let's see. What else can we do? Oh no, this line is gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to go over it with color pencil or something. I don't know, can you see it in the camera? You kinda can. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> We're embracing our mistakes today. You know what else we could try? Could put some deco pink right here in her ear. People who like do actual art with markers are screaming right now. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> you ever notice how people who do actual like legit art with their markers are, oh, they do it. They just make it look effortless. I'm super jealous. <laughs> Although I have come quite a long way in my coloring journey, so. So funny when we say that, huh? My coloring journey. Actually, I think the deco pink is the best. <laughs> the best option. That and the uh, R503, which is pastel pink. <laughs> so this one and the deco pink work really well. <laughs> Better than the other ones. Or the other one, R501. Duly noted. Okay, so color the rest of her skin. I usually, I always do the face first because the face and like the body and stuff is really nerve wracking. I already know what color her jacket's gonna be. So that's not nerve wracking to me. I feel like you have only about one chance to get the skin right and then then you have to like give it up you know what I mean <laughs> I'm too like okay time to start all over again <laughs> coloring tattoos makes me think of um tattoo darlings by Hannah Lynn I love that book I've only done I love all of Hannah Lynn's books, but I've only done one picture in that book, and I don't know why, because it's, it's really neat. It's not the same style as her other books, like the same art style. She um has like more of an inky look, you know, like her lines are darker and more stylized, not as straight and crisp, you know. And, like, the girls in that book, they're awesome. But I just, I've only done the one. Ironically using deco pink. <laughs> in that picture as well. Something about deco pink and tattoo, tattoos, bleh, tattoo girls. <laughs> I think about getting a tattoo every once in a while and then I always chicken out. Number one because um, I'm super indecisive and so I'm the type of person that would get a tattoo and then the next day like change my mind and want something else. Like I, I would never be able to like make my decision and stick with it. it it's hard. I think it's a Taurus trait. <laughs> I know a lot of indecisive Tauruses out there, Tor Taurians. <laughs> um, but also because I'm not a fan of needles. I don't know. Just I know it's like a tiny needle. It's not not the same thing as like when they take blood or whatever. But still gives me the heebie-jeebies. All right. We're going to color this mermaid in a little bit. So, I don't know about you guys, but every time I see a mermaid, I have to give her red hair like Ariel. I know I've heard a lot of other people say that too. Must be like one of those things from our generation that just 
stuck with this. It's really kind of funny, actually. So, let's see. You know, I also have limo shade markers, and they have nice teal colors. But that's okay. I was thinking we'd do her body like... the same color as the girl's hair. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. So if there was more than one color like that. Ooh, you know what? We could give her like a orangey colored tail. That would be neat. Or no. <laughs> okay. So we're looking for apricot, which I know is in here. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Watch me get totally bamboozled. It's like, oh, you wanted this one particular color? Oh, sorry, can't have it. No. Dang it. <laughs> no, I'm not looking for salmon. I don't know. Do we like salmon? I'm going I'm gonna test it out and see. Huh? Well, actually that's more orange than I thought it was. Okay. Well we'll use salmon then. <laughs> So this is Salmon in the Cali Art Markers, which is Y713. And we're going to use it to color her tail. And it's going to be great, hopefully. And I realize her tail is grayscale, and I'm kind of ignoring it because it's fine. You'll still be able to see the lighter part even though I'm coloring over it because the grayscale is not that dark, and the marker color is not dark either. I was thinking I might do a how I color grayscale because I see a lot of people have trouble with grayscale like on create space paper. So I thought I might show you like some examples of past grayscale that I've done and then do like a demo, you know, of how I color grayscale in real time. Cause I feel like that helps you learn better than if you see someone's finished work, you know, because then you can see how they got to their finished work. Oh, she's so colorful. Okay. And should we color in her hair? I don't know if you'd be able to see it. Let's color in the moon, though. I feel like even though the moon's not yellow, it should be yellow right here. And I don't know why I'm looking in here. Like, I don't know what color the yellow is. I know that. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. 
lightning yellow. So this is Y107, lightning yellow, which is one of my favorite yellows. Oh, oh no. Is there a fly in here? I hate flies. I hear like some buzzing. <laughs> Uh, it's like buzzing around my head or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is about summer, but they always, flies always come out in full force around here. And I always wonder, like, what are they doing? <laughs> like, there's no trash or any, like, standing water or anything around here. We have more flies than mosquitoes, which is crazy. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should color her fin. Because it's just going to blend in with the background and look funny. If we don't do that, let's see. Let's try this color. She's going to have the most Mardi Gras tattoo ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that color. We're just going to go all out, aren't we? Ooh, that's squeaky. Alright. That doesn't look too bad. This says it's light orange, but it looks more pink to me. I don't know if that comes across on the camera or not. Um, okay. Now let's, let's do her jacket. So I have an idea for her jacket. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I had this idea for her jacket first. And also, her nose ring, I am going to color in. Maybe. It's really tiny. I might have to use a fine liner. <sighs> Man. Okay. So, we are going to use BG-01 and BG-03. And R-304. BG03, mm, BG01, R304. R304 is for the like background, this little patch on her jacket. And then we're also gonna do For like the roller seat. We're gonna do cold green 01 and let's see. Let's see, R107. And last but not least, forgot what the color is for that one. Y501. First we need for our base BG01, which is blue gray one. Ta-da! So we're gonna use the chisel tip. Now, just as a warning, not as good 
with like bigger spaces in the chisel tip, but it's a lot easier with marker paper than it is with um, create, <coughs> excuse me, create space paper. Because it doesn't, like I said earlier, it doesn't soak up the ink so you, you don't have to like, you know, it's not like Flight of the Bumblebee, like <laughs> trying to hurry up before it like dries so it doesn't look all weird. <laughs> The very first color, the very first color, the very first page I colored with the alcohol markers was from Jade Summer's Flower Girls. And I thought, oh, this will be a good book to practice markers in because, you know, the, the line work is really simple and the spaces are open. And, you know, well... <laughs> At least in my case, that was the opposite of what I should have been doing. Like, I should have been doing smaller spaces. <laughs> because, oh my goodness, it was, it was a hot mess the first time. It was so bad that I told, you know how in Jade Summer books, they give you two of each picture? It was so bad that I tore that one picture out, which I never do. That's the only time I've ever done that. <laughs> Because I just me messed it up so bad. <laughs> but, you know, practice makes perfect. So if you're starting out with any new medium, coloring-wise, or even not coloring-wise, if you're just learning something new and you're having a hard time, keep at it. Eventually you'll get the hang of it. Or you'll somewhat get the hang of it. <laughs> None of us are born masters of everything, you know? Oh, here's a tiny update on my, um... Diamond painting, I'm sorry for all the pauses, I'm like trying to concentrate. <laughs> but a little update on my diamond painting for y'all. I only have one little section in the background to do, and then I'll be done. And I thought it was, it's been super fun. Like, I'd do another one. I'm not sure if I would do three of them. You know, like another one after a second one. <laughs> um... It kind of bothers my uh, tendonitis after a while. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm using like a very generic drill pin. You know, like the one that came with the kit or what. I did order a new drill pin, but I don't know if it'll get here in time. I might have to slow down what I'm doing just so that I can have some to test it out with. Um... But it's from Drill Pin Frenzy on Etsy, which if you diamond paint, I'm sure you've heard of before. They're a very popular seller. Um, but they have these wishbone shaped drill pins. And they look really comfy for your hand. Nice and chunky, you know? And you kind of hold them differently than you do like a regular drill, drill pen. Like normally you hold them just like you would a marker or a pencil like this, right? Whereas the wishbone one, I think you hold it, if I remember correctly, you kind of hold it like this with your thumb behind it and then your index finger in the front. And you just kind of like this instead of like this. I don't know, it, it sounds weird, but... It looked a lot more comfortable to hold. I don't think it's shipped yet, so... I'll show it to you guys. 
of course. Still haven't gotten my uh, photo book of my uh, kitty Sophie that I was telling you about in a previous video. I think, I hope not, but I feel like Shutterfly lost it, <laughs> which is terrible. I hope not. The tracking hasn't updated in quite a while. So hopefully, hopefully it's just like not gotten lost and they just haven't updated the tracking yet. I did go to the mailbox just a little while ago and um, either the mail lady hasn't come or I had no mail. It's kind of hard to tell because she, sometimes she comes really late. I might have to split this video up into two parts. Cause it might be too long for one part. I think this is part of her jacket too. Kind of hard to tell. But I'm coloring it that anyway. <laughs> Did you guys see um, the rollout video for Carla Magana's new coloring book, Eerie Patisserie? Oh, it looks so cute! It's funny because I don't have spooky sweets, so I plan on getting this particular one because it's just, it's too cute to pass up. It's funny because I'm not super great at coloring food, but I feel like you got to start somewhere, right? Plus, her books are, you know, like, you don't feel like you have to be, like, because of, you know, you don't have to be, um, what's the word, like, super realistic. So it kind of takes some of the pressure off. You know, it's funny because romantic country books aren't, like, realistic either, but whenever I see, like, food pages in that book, I always want to color the food realistically, even though it's not drawn realistically, like, in that style. I don't know, there are some people who love coloring food and are really good at it, like, KP Colors is really good at coloring food. So is coloring F. It's nice how we all have different like aspects of coloring and different things that we're good at coloring in. You know, everybody has their strengths. All right.
Now, here's the question. Let's do. This is BG03, and I'm going to just outline this. Once I finish with her jacket, I think I'm gonna, well, no, maybe I'll start her hair. Who knows, maybe it won't take me that long. Maybe I'll start her hair. I was gonna say, after I finish her jacket, I was gonna end the video and make another part for her hair, but I think I'll start her hair and then finish it in the second part. Let's see, how long is this video? Oh, it's almost an hour. Yeah. Okay, well then I'll just start her hair in the second part. It'll be all hair in the second part. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and also the back of her jacket right here. So her hair in the back of her jacket in the next part. Stay tuned for that. Oh, also, before I forget, um, the brand of marker paper I'm using, because I don't think I mentioned it, is B marker paper, B-E-E, -E, like the, uh, insect. And you can find it on Amazon. It's super affordable. I've used it. A lot and I really like it it's not I've also used um, smooth Bristol board Strathmore Bristol and I think the Bristol is a tad nicer but also the Bristol is more expensive and it doesn't come in eight and a half by eleven so you have to cut it down from nine by twelve which, if that doesn't bother you, then it's fine, you know. But, um, I don't have a paper cutter, and I'm not a really straight, straight cutter with my scissors. <laughs> so, I'd rather just have something that was already 8.5 by 11, you know, that just spits into my printer. And, yeah, so, B marker paper.
They also apparently have really good watercolor paper, but I'm not a super, super into watercolor coloring, like, as a hobby, so I can't really vouch for that either way, but I hear it's really good. That fly is still buzzing around my head. Oh, did it get really dark all of a sudden? Yeah, I think the sun went behind a cloud. Sorry, guys. Normally I turn on the overhead light next to me, but today I was like, eh, I don't feel like it. Let's go on natural. Okay. Well, her jacket looks nice, right? Can you guys see? I'll lift it up so you can see it better. But that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll put links for the artist where you can get these coloring pages that she put out. And also her YouTube channel because she has some really neat videos that she makes like vlog type videos and also she has a studio tour and she has two kitty cats um so i'll put her youtube channel and where you can download these in the description and my instagram but here's what we have so far so we're going to do the hair and finish her jacket in the next part I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching.